All right, a preview build of ICS by Joel something something. I'll put the link to his Twitter status in the description, but as data working. So what you're going to have to do is wipe, factory reset, give it a second, let it, let it do its thing. Come on. Wipe that data. <laughs> You bad boy. What is this? I don't know what this one does. I'm going to go back. Uh, then we need to go to install. And then this one. And then flash. And we just let it go for a minute. It's formatting the system. Da -da 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 -da. Um, this is not... A member of the sign engine team. I think this is just a guy doing his thing, getting help from other people. All good, all is well. Uh, Toast CFH is the maintainer for the Evo 3D. The last build was Alpha 3, IC at for uh, CM7. And since then, there's been no updates. And that's assumed to be because of ICS. Uh, KMobs posted on Google Plus that Toast CFH is. You know, has ICS go running pretty good um, on the Speedy, which is the Evo Shift, and the Evo 3D, which is this phone. And I'll just reboot. And then see what happens right here. Right here. Come on. Let's see some ICS. Ah ha ha, check it out. But yeah, and Toast CFH himself also posted on Twitter that ICS is running really well and the speedy in the shooter against all odds. Uh, I'll try to remember to post that in the description as well. Follow him on Twitter for updates. But uh, so yeah, he's he is the maintainer. So when ICS comes out, it'll be pretty damn good. Because he, uh, apparently a lot of people learn from him. He's their engine's just really quiet. They don't post teasers. They don't hey <laughs> they don't hit nothing. Just all of a sudden in your face, bam. Awesome stuff by awesome people. I we just got my wife an Evo shift and we put CM7 on it. And that phone is a beast with CM7. Just with CM7 alone, you can overclock it to 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, I have it on like 14 something. Not on the max, but it's a pretty crazy phone. So data is working in this build. I'm going to sign in real quick. I do apologize that I can't edit this out. Put in my password, which is not password. Signing in. Yes, I want it synced up with my Google account. And next, finish. Well, I guess little graphic glitches, but no big deal. Nothing uh terrible. You got the normal stuff. And. Here's the app drawer. It's got the neat little transitions. Seems to be running pretty smooth. Widgets. And uh, open the market real quick. Accept the terms. I think 3G is working just fine. Okay, come on. Even though I barely get 3G here, so just barely. I purchased a lot of the Tencent apps, so it's a pretty lengthy list of stuff here. It all started with buying ADW launcher, then it just <laughs> it took it, went downhill from there, and then Root Explorer and all kinds of stuff. But anyways, not about the apps I've bought. There's ice cream sandwich, uh, menu, 
settings. Uh, it's, I know how to use Wi-Fi now. You just press that and then you press on the Wi-Fi letters and you connect to your network. Uh, you got data usage. I don't know if it's reading or not because we just installed this. Um, on the about phone, I'll let you see this. Zoom in on it. Alright. And if you keep tapping on this, you get that and you got a hold on it. And you see a neat little... Hold on. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not a... Not too crazy. So, what else do I cover? About phone, Android 4.0.3. Um, you got the normal. Ah. You got the normal. Urgh. You got the normal screenshot, reboot, and you could choose whether you want bootload or recovery. Uh, recovery will get you to Team Win Recovery if you have it installed. It'll probably get you to Clockwork if you have that installed. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to cover. There's ice cream sandwich in a nutshell. Uh, HTC, HTC Evo 3D. I will cover ice cream sandwich videos, of course. And as soon as the CM team releases their version, I'll be doing a video on that, on both the Evo Shift and the Evo 3D. So, please stay tuned. If you like this video, click the like button. Uh, go ahead and, you know, share this video with your friends if you want to. I'll have a link to my Twitter in the description if you want to follow me for YouTube updates and stuff. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.